we are going to do is we are going to do this test to determine who is going to be the runner-up to verse a uh, special tool that's coming in today. I ordered a couple of 12-volt Hilti tools. So I wanted, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Megan Stuff and Breaking Stuff because he beat me to the video that I was going to do. But since he did the hammer drills, I'm doing the impacts. So I'll put uh, Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff in the description below. And so for the Milwaukee, the model number for this is uh, 2553-20. Uh, and there are uh, three modes, uh, four modes, sorry, three speeds, and one is drill, or screw. I think that's screw. Like I said, it is cold outside. It is cold. Uh, that, that warms your hands up really quick. Right, so the impacts per minute for this is 4,000. Uh, the quarter inch hex, uh, maximum speed is 3,300 RPMs. Oh, and this is 1,300 inch pounds of torque. And so the, that is the specs for the Milwaukee M12 fuel quarter inch hex impact. So the DeWalt 12 volt impact is model number DCF801. All right, according to the Lowe's website, the DeWalt is a maximum RPM of 2,850. Tool output is 1,450 inch pounds of torque. It's actually really good. So, like I said, this uh, this test is going to determine who is going to verse Hilti. Alrighty, so we have the Milwaukee M12 and the DeWalt 12 volt. Now, I believe this is called Extreme, uh, the DeWalt Extreme. And so, yeah. So, uh, when it comes to uh, how it feels in my hand, I favor the Milwaukee because I like the fat handle. It feels it's much easier to, to grab and hold, especially with gloves on. Than it is for the DeWalt to be in my hand. All right, so what we're we are gonna do is we are gonna test out Timberlock screws uh, in each mode, speed one, two, and three. All right, the first runner-up is the Milwaukee. All right, full bars, two amp hour battery. Uh, the DeWalt has a two amp hour battery as well. Speed one first, go. All right, speed one is not capable of doing it. Let's go to speed two. Ready, go. time alrighty so the battery has three bars left after doing that once all right so first we're gonna do we're gonna do speed low oh sorry this one only has a screw low and high so we're gonna go on speed low first see if we can do it all right so three two one go It actually stopped right there. It will not go beyond that on low speed. And that completely stopped. All right, we're gonna have to go to speed high for the rest. Milwaukee won on that because the DeWalt was not able to 
do it on low speed. So the Milwaukee is winner on that one. All right, so now we're gonna go to speed three. Ready, go. Done. Uh, let's go with the DeWalt right next to it. It's on, it's on high. All right, ready, go. Done. This is a 12 volt system and it's capable of doing that. Both of these are amazing by that itself. All right, we are gonna use Tech Life impact rated sockets for this test. So yeah, these things are awesome. I got the Milwaukee uh, half inch to quarter inch hex uh, adapter for that. Battery is back at full bars. We are gonna use a three and a half inch lag first. Three and a half inch by half inch lag. Oh, we'll go to speed, we'll just go to speed two. I don't think speed one's able to do it. All right, there we go. Ready? Go. That's not even driving in. Not enough power to drive that, to drive, actually drive that in. Have to go to speed three. Ready? Go. There we go. Just the fact that it drove that in, it's actually amazing. We're gonna see how it does to take it out. Ready, go. Done. On DeWalt, I love the shadowless lighting. I was on the high setting for the Milwaukee, so let's do the DeWalt. All right, so ready, go. And there we go. Time. Wow. Dude, guys, both of these systems are able to put that in. That's absolutely amazing. That really is. Both of these impacts are fantastic. All right, now let's uh, take it out. There we go. Ready? Go. Very good. Batteries at two bars on that one. Still has plenty of life. Alrighty, so four and a half inch right here. Milwaukee first, it is on speed three. Ready, go. Yeah, the Milwaukee was skipping beats dur during that. It was skip skipping rotation. All right, so let's see what the dual can do. Two bars are left. All right, so ready, go.
And that's where the DeWalt stops. The DeWalt refused to go any further. Just to show it again. It did it. The DeWalt did it. What's the battery at? The battery is at one bar. We're gonna do them both at once. I'm gonna do it as fast as possible. Ready? Go. And there we go. All right, so we are ready to go. So ready, go. Time. So the Milwaukee is gonna take out the lag that the DeWalt put in, and DeWalt's gonna take out the lag that the Milwaukee put in. We have two bars left. Let's see if it has the power. All right, so ready, go. Very good. All right, so the DeWalt's gonna take out the Milwaukee. All right, so ready, go. And very good. It does not matter if one has less uh, power in the battery than the other. They're both 2 amp hour batteries and they're both 12 volt. They both did the same amount of tasks. If one loot drains power faster than the other, that's its own fault. So both of them did it. Uh, the guys, no matter what, I'm impressed with both of these. Uh, they both are 12 volt systems that, are, that did this job. And put these batteries on charge and we're gonna see which one drives an 8 inch lag screw in the furthest so let's put these on charge and we'll be back all right so both batteries are charged up we got a full bars right there full bars right there all right so we are gonna drive in some 8 inch lags and we're gonna see which one is capable of even doing it all right, this is gonna be interesting ready Go. Stop that. Let's do it again.
done. And the battery is dead. Guys, oh my god. A 12 volt impact could put in an 8 inch lag nut. Milwaukee, oh my. I ha Ryobi has uh, 18 volt uh, impacts that can't do that. Milwaukee's 12 volt system with a 2 amp hour battery can. All right, so we are going to see if the DeWalt can do the same. Ready? Go. And the DeWalt did it faster. The DeWalt dominated that. And the battery has uh, two bars left. The DeWalt dominated that. Uh, Milwaukee has two bars left. What we're going to do is uh, the DeWalt is going to take out the lag that the Milwaukee put in. And the Milwaukee is going to take out the lag that the DeWalt put in. So, ready? Go. <laughs> Wow. Two bars left still. All right, so now the DeWalt is taking out the Milwaukee leg. All right, so it's in reverse. Ready, go. Oh, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. I want to do that again. I want to do that again. We're going to do this one more time. We are going to switch. We're going to charge out the batteries again. We are going to switch a position. Alrighty, so both batteries are charged up. Full bars. And the DeWalt full bars. So what we are going to do is we are going to do this test again. As you can see, I got a fresh uh, fresh log. We are going to drive in the 8-inch lag screws again and see what happens. Now, it doesn't matter the conditions of this. They both are doing the same test. I'm hoping that I can get them both to do the same thing. We are going to do the Milwaukee first. Forward. All right, ready? Go. I'm right, we'll stop that for a second. Let the motor, because it the it actually stopped putting it in. It went in on an angle as well. All right, let's resume. All right, that stopped. That stopped right there. This is the results that I was actually expecting when I first started doing uh, the lags. All right, battery's full, it's on high. We're gonna do it right, right here. I think we're good. All right, so ready, go.
All right, that's where it stops. All right, we're going to give the Milwaukee one last chance. This socket is hot. A three volt, a three amp hour XC battery. Let's see if this increases the power. All right, so ready, go. It does not, it didn't even move. Let's actually use a tape measure. All right, so four and three eighths is uh, left on the Milwaukee and three and a half is left on the DeWalt. So the DeWalt won this test. All right, so battery's still full. We are gonna see how long this takes to take this out. No, but first, that's a push in as well, I forgot. All right, so we're gonna take this out a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Wait, a little bit more. All right, perfect. Four and three eighths and four and th perfect. Ready? Ready? Go. Very good. Very freaking good. All right, so for 12 volt systems, both of these did a fantastic job. They seriously did. Now, the, these two majorly overdid what they're expected to do and that's what this channel does this channel puts uh these tools to extreme tests to see what their true limits are and and yeah even with the three amp hour battery this uh did not increase the performance when it comes to putting in the eight inch lag uh but yeah but like no matter what both of these tools are well worth the money because they're able to do those tasks and and yeah the the milwaukee did win uh, by a long shot, and so the Milwaukee is going to be facing the Hilti when that test is ready. So Hilti is coming in, into this channel. Uh, I'm going to start off with the 12-volt system, then work my way up to the their 22-volt uh, system, 21-volt system I think they have. So, so yeah, these, these, both of these are, tools are worth it. You know, if you're a DeWalt fan, you know, and there you go. You have a 12-volt system. That will do the job and uh, exceed your expectations. And it's the same thing with Milwaukee. The only real difference is Milwaukee's M12 system has a lot more of a variety of tools than DeWalt does. DeWalt, I think, has like five or six. But Milwaukee has like a, like 70 or 100. Or I don't know the exact number. But, but yeah, both these tools are awesome. I'm glad I have them in my arsenal. And yeah, uh... The DeWalt does make a 3 amp hour battery for their 12 volt system, which I'm going to pick that up, and we're going to revisit this test with a 3 amp hour battery. So, that's pretty much it. So, please don't hate me for the results on this. Uh, the results are there. You know, I love both of these products. These both are awesome. Yeah, but this one did outperform the DeWalt, which, which that's okay. That does not mean that this is garbage. You know, this is a fa it's a fantastic line. The 12 volt system did what a ry uh, cert uh, some Ryobi tool 18 volts can't do, and so this is a winner in my book. All right, both of these guys are winners. They did exceedingly well for what they were doing. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.